Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares. Uh, back again to do another tag video. Uh, this one is by my buddy Sean Urshan. And uh, this is going to be the killer thriller tag. So this is going to be nine questions, I believe, on our favorite thrillers. Some favorites, some not. Um, this, one's, this was a tough one. Um, thriller and horror usually walk hand in hand. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Anyway, let's get right let's get right to it with question number one. Um, what is your favorite stalker thriller? Uh, mine is going to be uh, Play Misty for Me. That is with uh, Clint Eastwood, and I'm trying to think of the name of the... It's not Anne Bancroft, maybe? But, um, yes, yeah, with Clint Eastwood, he plays a DJ at a late-night jazz... Um, station and he gets kind of entangled with this woman who becomes obsessed with him of course he takes her home and sleeps with her and eh, he's still in love with his old girlfriend and she gets irritated and starts going insane basically <laughs> so uh, yeah that's question number one uh, question number two what is your favorite serial killer thriller uh, that is going to be, well, it's kind of a toss-up between Silence of the Lambs and uh, Manhunter. I've always liked Manhunter. Um, I know Manhunter and Red Dragon are basically the same film, just with different actors. But I always preferred Manhunter myself. Um, I thought William Peterson did a great job. And um, Brian Cox is uh, Hannibal. Really, really a cool movie. Uh, question number three, what is your favorite murder mystery thriller? Uh, that's going to go to uh, Dario Argento with The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Um, ever since I saw that, usually I'm pretty good at guessing the killer, but that really threw me for a loop. I really enjoyed it. So, that is number three. Number four, what is your favorite psychological thriller? Uh, that's going to go to uh, Roman Polanski and The Tenant. Another, well, it was a recent watch. I think I reviewed it for my 31 Days of Horror in October. I really liked that. I thought it was really good. Uh, question number five. What is your favorite Alfred Hitchcock thriller? And that is going to be Vertigo. Longtime favorite of mine. Always enjoyed it. Uh, question number six is, what is your favorite Brian De Palma thriller? Um, I didn't want to say the same thing for two, um, two questions, because the next question has is also from Brian De Palma. So I'm going to go with Blowout for number six. Um, even though I'm not the biggest John Travolta fan, I think that movie is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Definitely underrated. Um, question number seven. What is your favorite erotic thriller? Now, um, I have two. One I consider more of a horror movie, and that would be Love Object. That um, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. He was in Dexter. And I can't think of his name now. But he plays a guy who gets a um, sex doll... And um, it's pretty. It's a pretty messed up movie, but I do consider that more horror, even though people consider it a thriller. But you know, um, so I, I'll go with Love Object and also Body Double, which is also by Brian De Palma. So yeah, I love Body Double. I consider that partially horror too. So, um, what is the worst erotic thriller? Uh, th this is going to have to go to, and I didn't even know it was a thriller. It's just a, I just didn't like it. It's a movie called Swimming Pool, and it's a uh, 2003 film, and now I'm trying to remember who's in it. But it's about an author who goes and rents a house to try to um, generate ideas for new uh, books. And she's basically, there's a swimming pool there. And the owner's daughter 
comes in kind of whenever she likes, and it creates a very weird dynamic between the two of them. And I just was bored to death, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, which is question number nine, the last question. What is your favorite Italian giallo thriller? Um, my favorite is going to be opera, but I also like uh, Four Flies on Grey Velvet. Um, that one really surprised me. I really enjoyed that one, but opera's always been my favorite. Of course, that's an Argento film. I know pe most people love Suspiria, but opera's just so mean-spirited and, um, brutal. Yeah. So that's it. Um, this one, I'm really not sure who to tag. Sean pretty much tagged everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this one open. And if you want to do it, please do. Um, yeah. And uh, if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.